So I want to see Matoma start. I want to see Ito start. And I want to see Asano at striker. That would just be my selection for Japan. This team doesn't need possession. What do they have? 18% against Spain? 30 something against Germany? They're probably going to have 35 in this game. They're going to be on the counterattack. And they are probably the most dangerous team on the counterattack at this World Cup. The speed overlapping runs that this team constantly make from the midfield and the attackers is exceptional. So Japan have a real shot in this game. And I absolutely love this team. I think they have a lot of great technical players like Doan. We haven't even seen Tomiyasu much of this World Cup. I think they can cause the upset. It's just down to Moriyasu must get the lineup and tactics right. It's 50-50 people for me. I'm going to go 2-2 and then it goes into extra time. And then I'm going to see a Modric screamer from like 20 yards out. And Croatia will win this game 3-2. It's going to be heartbreak again for Japan. For Japan, don't let Modric dominate this game. That's easier said than done. And I think they should even try and man mark him. Tomiyasu coming into this Japanese side uh, will help if he's fully fit. He's been good for Arsenal so far and he will certainly help them going forward and most certainly at the back as well. But Japan are used to soaking up a lot of pressure in this tournament and when it clicks and when they go forward they are like a tornado of speed. The way they move the ball so quickly and flood the box with players running from deep is really impressive. They've got the likes of Kamada, they've got Ito, Maeda who can do it in the first half and then the super sub seem to come on. Doan, Mitoma and Asenio in the second half. Croatia just need to remain patient, rely on the passing that they've done for decades now um, and pick their opportunities to, to wear this Japan side down and get the job done. When it comes to a prediction, let's be bold and let's be crazy and let's just hope this fairy tale for Japan continues and they can catch Croatia cold with another comeback. I'm calling it right here. Let's do it again. Croatia won. Japan too. So although Croatia are a great European footballing side and they were the World Cup finalists last time, they haven't been all that convincing to me. That's why I got an upset from this game and I got Japan beating Croatia 3-2 in extra time. I love rooting for the underdogs, so I'm backing for the Japanese. Let's go Japan! はい、本日のご視聴ありがとうございます。今回は期待したいのですがどのような試合展開になるかぜひコメント欄に感想を、え、動画の感想と予想を書いていただいたら幸いです。